working with Westminster City College for about three years and we've attended the vast majority of the Meet the Employer sessions over that time, often with our supply chain. And it's our supply chain that employs the majority of people on our sites, so it's with them largely that often the opportunities lie. We are organising CSCS Meet the Employee events on a regular basis, on a monthly basis. So today we had six employers and uh, they've been interviewing our students for real jobs opportunities with a real career progression in the end of it. The scheme is we get to, as employers, get to meet a room full of candidates that are all going through the process of obtaining their CSCS cards. Um, a very broad mix of people from different walks of life and different stages of careers etc. Um, you meet some people that have got lots of experience and others that have got no experience. Um, for me, the, the, the key thing that I always look for in a candidate is someone that's enthusiastic and wants to progress and just get that, you know, that start in construction. Um, and obviously we're fortunate enough to be able to help some of these candidates out. So we do a presentation to the students during the course and then with our supply chain at the end of the course we interview the appropriate people, some of whom we can take on either directly as we have them here or through our supply chain and where we can't necessarily host the individual we can signpost them to a company that may be more relevant to them. As a part of this two-week course that is absolutely free of charge for our students uh, we are organising site visits as well but also to be part of the Meet the Employee event where they're going to have real, real chance of getting into, into jobs. A few really good success stories. Um, we've, uh, we've got a candidate, Luam, who I met at an event, um, it would have been last year, so 2019, um, who then went on to a project of ours uh, in Battersea. Um, Luam has excelled, she's a key member of the team. Um, we, couldn't, we couldn't be without her. It's a great event and you know, hopefully I look forward to meeting many more candidates that are successful and come on board with, with people. I studied in construction back in my country and after I finished my school I, uh, I started working in construction and from that I know there is a difference role but before I didn't know there was a difference role in construction job. The course is about two weeks and so during the course you've got an opportunity to meet people more than once and you can take people in, into a, a work experience setting which will give them uh, an opportunity they wouldn't have had without the course and gives you an opportunity to see the person before you actually go down the process of formally making a, a complete job offer to them. So I, I was forwarded on to editor at the um, meet the employee event. Um, so I went along, um, met loads of different employees, uh, it was a bit like speed dating, um, and got to really interact with the employers and hand out my CV. I always wanted to get into construction, I just didn't think I kind of had the skills to do it, uh, I didn't know how to go about it. Um, so I spoke to an advisor from Paddington Trust and um, like I say, he forwarded me on to editor and then editor explained everything to me and you know, I really wanted to, to do it and have a complete change of career. Fantastic success with, with students. We have students that they have been unemployed for very, very long time. Then they came over to us. They went through the process, and they've got quali they, they received the qualifications, and now they are working for big companies like Sir Robert McAlpine, like Clipfine, and, and many other companies. Went college. Um, I've done my CSCS card at college. I studied to do plumbing for a year. Um, when I went to college, we had an open day event, meet the employer. I managed to meet one of the employers from SES and uh, managed to secure an interview with them. Um, yeah, pretty much I can see myself be doing this for the next 30 years or so. Um, as I've evolved, 
from a normal plumber to a medical gas engineer now. So as a business, we we managed to recruit directly uh, from this scheme, but through our supply chain, as I said, they they employ far more people than we do. Uh, our supply chain have found many opportunities on on this project and many others for people who've come through this scheme. I meet on the scheme um, don't know what they want to do in construction, and they're just looking for that start and, and like I always always say um, that it's a good entry level so going at a very entry level role and then when you're there you can you get to know a building site you get to know a, a construction project and you think hey, I, I, I like the look of that that guy's job you know I'd quite like to be a telehandler driver or a slinger signaler or a security guard you know whatever it might whatever that path you know may become um, so I don't think not all of them have a big understanding in, in, in construction of what it's all about, but it's nice to get that opportunity so they can you know, learn and, and, and you know, view it and make their decisions. The employers are absolutely critical because without them, we're not going to have any jobs for our students. And our supply chain look for people who've got the right attitude. And Often, when you're recruiting somebody who's got uh, limited or is a new entrant into the industry, attitude is all you can recruit on. And that is instilled into the people on the course, and it should come across, and it's come across with lots of candidates that we've seen through the Meet the Employer sessions, and it's those people who stand out, and it's those people that we like to bring into the industry. Positive attitudes to work. That's one thing that I will, this is something that I say to students all the time, positive attitudes to work and the passion for the, for the career that they actually choose. You know, if it's a construction, I keep saying to them, show the passion, because if you're going to show the passion, employer will definitely help you to progress to the next level, but they need to see that commitment. Turn up on time, every time, to turn up with a smile and be an asset to the business that's, that's either offering you work experience or offering you a job. My advice would be, um, be enthusiastic, um, you know, have an open mind, don't, don't be afraid to ask questions um, and know that there's genuine buy-in and support from the people that you're talking to and dealing with because everyone in that room wants you to want you to succeed. It's uh, great to support a local college. Westminster City College is, is in the borough in which we work. And every single course that they've run has generated uh, a lead or leads for us uh, in the employment arena, whether it's directly or through the supply chain. That is a really, really great initiative and the work that um, DTEP does especially and, and Westminster College do is, is, a, is a real you know, it's a real credit and you know keep up the good work. The relationship works really well because we as a principal contractor need our supply chain to help us deliver our projects. They need people to help them deliver our, our requirements and the college is, is producing people who can help both of us achieve that so we all help each other. It's a symbiotic relationship and one that I hope we can continue for many years to come.